right. Okay, so we're now coming in. So Matt Parker has a video on his channel about making a knot on the London Underground with Jeff Marshall and Vicky Pipe as transportation experts and Sabeta Matsumoto and me as topology experts. There's a link in the description. You should check it out if you haven't already because this video won't make much sense unless you've already seen Matt's video. Jeff also has a behind the scenes video on his channel. So we're trying to make this trefoil knot. It's pretty easy to make sure that we made the right shape horizontally by looking at an ordinary two-dimensional map and seeing which stations we went to, but it isn't so obvious whether the overs and unders of the path are correct when we cross over at the crossing stations. So Spero and I went to check. So first of all, we're here at Oxford Circus where we need the central line to go underneath the Bakerloo line. So we walked from the central platform to the Bakerloo platform, and here are the 27 steps you have to go up to get from Central to Bakerloo. So that means that the Central platform is underneath the Bakerloo platform. Now it's, it's conceivable that even though the platforms are this way around, the tube channels somehow cross the other way around because we aren't directly looking at the Central line going down below the Bakerloo line. But then the trains would have to slope up or down a noticeable amount and they don't when you're actually on, on the train, so we're fine. Uh, the corridors can also slope up and down a little bit, but it's not enough to make a difference. I should also note that there is publicly available data on the heights of station platforms. There's a link in the description to some beautiful diagrams of platform heights that uses this data. Uh, but doing it in person was more fun, so that's why we're here. Next, here's us checking that at Leicester Square, the Piccadilly line goes underneath the northern, which it does by 20 steps near the Piccadilly platform. and another 18 steps near the northern platform. So that all works out. Finally, and the most tricky one, uh, is the crossing at Tottenham Court Road, where we need the northern line to go below the central line. Now there's a long escalator up near the northern platform, which is about 15 posters tall. Um, there's actually 24 posters, I counted. Uh, and each poster is offset from uh, their neighbors by half of the height of a poster. Um, so that would be half of 24, which is actually 12 posters. But there's a couple of gaps and uh, the posters don't go all the way to the top or the bottom. So let's call it 15 posters high. Then near the central platform, there are a total of 20 steps down. So we went up near the northern platform, but down near the central platform. Um, but 20 steps down, 15 posters up. Poster is quite a bit taller than a step. Um, I'd estimate sort of three or four times taller. So we're still good. So all of the crossings in our knot go the right way around. So it is actually the, the truffle knot that we have, not something else, not just a circle, the unknot, for example. So thanks for watching and happy subway system nodding.